this other road is uh, beautiful, it has nice houses, fancy houses, humble houses, stray dogs, cats, snakes, lizards, anything you want. No, not anything, but... Okay, now we are this crossing where we have three options. One is going to Nagoa that I'm not going to do today. This is the way we're going to go, but first let me show you quickly a place I want to show because this is a road that it's not... Well, it's interesting to be honest, but only this first half. Later it gets a bit boring because there's only fields outside and nothing that interesting. So we're gonna walk a little bit this road and then I'm gonna head back. Don't worry, I'm gonna cut so you don't need to see twice this road. But I really want to show you some small place that opened recently. Oh, nice shot. I'm gonna show you this, uh, it's called Parra Coffee Club. Nice food. At first, when they first opened, it was a bit fancy food, kind of Mexican or Latin American, and with some tacos, and but it was a bit expensive. And I think it never lasted much, that menu. So they changed the whole menu for more local food, like Goan food, with a little bit of a twist. There is the place, yeah. The Park Coffee Club. It's ready for the monsoon, I think. And I'm not sure if it's open for dining. Oh. Hello. Are you open? For takeaway only. Okay. Can I take a look? Like show? For a yeah? Cool. Just for the menu. Ah it's nice. Yeah, prices are not crazy considering the area we are in. There's a nice kitchen here. Right? And uh I'm not sure what is this, a stove, an oven? But it's a very nice area, as you can see. It's very cool, right? So they put the plastics now recently because of the monsoon. I didn't realize there is this area here and then you have these views. So imagine here, coming in the evening, having your sandwich or poi. I think they don't serve beers or alcohol. It would be amazing to have a beer here with friends. Yeah, this is the menu. All right. You're gonna be on YouTube if you don't mind. Yeah. <laughs> I'll let you know. Yeah. Have a good day. Okay. Bye bye. The parking is here. It's nice. It's, it's very kind of cute, spacious open air place where I cannot wait to go back once the lockdown is over. You know what I mean? This lockdown is getting too long, but of course, we're gonna be safe and prevent a third wave. I'm just going a few more meters because we have a small church or chapel, not sure. I think by the size we could consider it a church. It is... Oh, did I pass it? No, this is the chapel. Alright, chapel is here. Cute, right? Look at the color. It's very... I would say Greek. More like Mediterranean, you know, these colors. It's more for a Mediterranean place. And then there is... Uh, this might be a house. Oh my god, look at this cute, nice mailbox. And that church I was saying, if I'm not wrong, is here. No, did I pass it? Oh my god, totally, totally lost. Yeah, we, we might have passed it. <laughs> there was a beautiful church here. I'm gonna have to go out and move to the... Ah, we just passed it, it was next to the Parra Coffee Club. Okay, let's go there, one, two, three, go! That's why I missed it, because it was right next to the... Water Coffee Club, there is the... Look at this cute little church with this nice entrance here, right? And this statue... Oh man, I can, I can picture, I can imagine once this whole pandemic is done, people really enjoying here in the earth. All, all the time we've missed, you know, all these months years no not years but many months of you know lockdown being at home uh, not being able to meet our friends big gatherings for Peter as well and all that stuff once we have all these all this lost time we we're gonna need to gather again right and spend time with our neighbors friends families of course 
So this is the part I wanted to show you, but now we're heading to this other road, which is very beautiful and with nice houses. Ah, oh, nice tuk-tuk. There is a bar that I never been to, this Marcus bar. It's been closed for a while because of the lockdown, of course, but sometimes at night you can see people here standing or sitting inside. It is a very, very local bar. I never seen any, you know, music playing or young people. It's more for old people, I can hang out and neighbors probably, mostly. Good morning. And then we are on this small road. Super cute, super, I love this. These plants getting on the electricity cable or internet cable, whatever it is. This is actually, this is a street, very narrow street, you know, in, in two steps probably you can just... Yeah, exactly, it's not even two meters probably. So, two cars here might struggle to, to pass. Joe and... Oh, there's a cat. Hello, cat. Hello. He's like the, the king of the house, huh? <laughs> Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? Oh my god. And also this house here. This, look at these views here. Oh, that house in con still in construction. It's not the best site, but... I don't know, maybe you get the angle. I I'm getting a very nice view here. You know, this road doing like this, and then you see this house and that. The color. Look at these plant pots here. I think all these houses have people living in now. It's very... It's a nice, quiet area. Then we have this this house here too nice and wow the, the design of that one is pretty strange has this you know pointy balcony it's cool it's can't wait to see it finished I hope it doesn't break much with the style of the whole street this beautiful street this I'm not sure if it's under no this more like protecting from from the rains from the monsoon another house with the blue and Turquoise. This is a. What is it? Mango? Could be a mango bone or a. I'm not sure if. I don't know, man. Mango. I said mango bone. No, it's mango seed. But you know, the, in Spanish we call it. Some fruits. We say they have bone. One bone. Instead of saying seed, which is. Yeah, I know it's wrong to say seed, but. You know. I'm not a native, so I guess I can do these kind of mistakes. Another beautiful house here. We are entering a little bit more countryside, way more quiet with fields that... I sometimes come here for a walk too, to avoid the whole traffic there. and It's way more quiet. No more houses here where... Well, that's nice. Big windows, a lot of light going in. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. The fields are open and people are working on the fields, stirring the soil. Ooh, I almost fell. <laughs> yeah, that's a common sight nowadays. During monsoon, I almost fell there. <laughs> See, small details like this. Electricity pole taken over by nature almost oh my god that's a that's a mix of cables and also uh, plants see this would look like cables but no everything is plants but if you go a bit higher there it's a mix of these cables I'm not sure if you can see that yeah right it's crazy man let's continue along this beautiful road it's hot now I would drink uh, like a big jug of water or lemonade, beer if you offer. <laughs> but yeah, cold water is the best after a long walk. We're gonna cross a small road between fields and um, where sometimes I saw some 
cows and goats. I saw goats around here, very cute goats, because they were very cute. And <laughs> I love goats, small goats, baby goats screaming. Meh. Yeah, it was summer here on that, in that area, I think. Oh my God, look at this. This is so quiet because it's hot and people usually don't go out for walks when it's this hot. I'm one of the few crazy ones going out when it's this hot. But if you come in the early morning before the sun is so high, or if you come in the afternoon when the sun is setting, you can see some people here like working out, walking the dog. It's nice. So yeah, the goats were in this. Maybe belong to some of this house, but the goats were on this this side and now we have these views here we're going to continue and this road very narrow road again I'm not sure if cars pass by here no cars don't go here because that road there is even more narrow so only motorbikes or bicycles or people can walk through here. Wow, these cables are not safest thing in the world at this height. Anyway, so this road leads to another road. Also quite nice with very nice houses. Some other day I'm gonna show you passing by that. There's some houses there. Not very fancy, but still I like the colors. It's They have amazing views. I mean, look at where they look. All these fields here. Right. This other road is uh, beautiful, has nice houses, fancy houses, humble houses, stray dogs, cats, snakes, lizards, anything you want. No, not anything. Birds, you can see some birds as well. Nice road to walk, but the thing is a bit too narrow and it's quite a... Uh, it has some traffic. There's some cars and bikes sometimes going a bit too fast. You will see it's not that big road to go fast But even I sometimes go a bit, you know, speed up a little bit because it's nice It has some straight long parts That you want to feel the breeze and but thanks to the speed bumps Speed breakers you have to take it easy and slow down this these plants here Maybe it did just grow in the past couple of weeks. Maybe not more As you end this small path, we end up in front of this beautiful house with this grass and a small chapel there. This one, sometimes we saw people here. Maybe because we walk this road more often. So we saw people. We're not gonna head this way today. I'm gonna show you that on another episode. What we're gonna do is walk a bit more, show you some of the houses on the sides. The road is not super narrow, but it's not that wide to walk. I just heard some. Could be a snake. So better not to gamble, but I heard something near my feet. I don't want to see what it is. Probably a snake, yeah. Another small chapel. Well, I'm not sure if this is a chapel or a house or what. Could be a... No, I don't think it's a chapel. Another thing. Quite common here in Goa, every house has its own well. Well, this one I think is not working. But many, many, many of the houses have their own well. A few months ago, we had like a water supply cut in the whole area. So gentle neighbors gave us some water from their well because of our water pump and water supply was not running. So, morning. Hi. 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 Yeah. People enjoying the terrace and the chai. Oh my god, this one. This looks quite modern. Right? Modern, maybe even a, like a guard house here. CCTV. You see more houses. Houses more fancy than others. With more modern installations and facilities, whatever. This one is nice. Tulips. Again, the colors white and blue. Kind of Mediterranean Greek style. <laughs> Tulips three to nine. Yeah, nice. Very nice. Lots of fields here. It's kind of sad that. Well, it's not sad. I like that 
to be to stay I like this place to stay quiet and like this but I, I barely see kids playing here it's a perfect place to play with a bike or some football or whatever and I never see people here like hanging out on the road this electricity tower is I'm not sure if you can hear it some bzz, bzz. some buzzing sound we are getting close to the end Maybe I should be concluding this episode. Look at this house though, very nice. Lots of plants covering the entrance. And then look at that classic car there, wow. I'm not getting in, I'm just gonna show you from here because I, well actually, oh wait, there's a cat. Cat, you don't, oh wow, the other car is also classic. Look at this. The cat just went away. Oh. I, I can feel a nice fresh breeze. So good. All right, let's continue. I'm gonna show you if you can see, not the entrance with the frog and the you know, the well, dragonfly, but also the second floor. It's cool, right? Very nice. Then there is this place here called Villa de Parra. It's another fancy day that we only saw it from outside, but it looks fantastic. Like really fancy hotel or boutique hotel, whatever you want to call it. Very nice. Someday we might just go nearby to show you outside and maybe if they let us in, maybe we can show you the inside. Just because I'm curious, because I don't know how it looks inside and I really want to check how one of these, you know, boutique hotels around here look like inside. Another house here, very nice. Pretty good, I like these signs here. Kind of Rastafari. No idea the meaning of this, but pretty cool, right? Another house. This one has no white color, just two green colors. Mint, kind of, no? Oh man, the weather is perfect for the beach. But you know what? If you go to the beach, it might be... Well, I don't feel windy here, but the lifeguards might say, no, 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 red flag, not allowed because of the monsoons. So even though the weather is, it looks like this good, probably you're not allowed to, to go into the water, which sucks. But maybe, maybe we can go and check if there is some area where we can get into the water or enjoy. But anyway, the season is over, like now it's low season. And last time we checked the beach was, everything was closed, you know, like, oh, look, ducks. <laughs> nice. Sorry, I like animals. And I stop every time I see some animals. So last time we went to the beach, it was very... It was uh, a few days after the um, cyclone. So it looked quite destroyed. And all the shacks, absolutely all the shacks were closed. You know, like completely like abandoned, like off season. But you know, nothing going on there. Not looking like they are opening anytime soon. Probably they are opening next. No, I was gonna say next year, no, next season. Probably September, if conditions are okay. September, October, that's when season starts again. This other place here, this looks super fancy. This is called a Casa Vibe. Yeah. Morning. Look at that. Nice garden and... From what I see on the internet, there is a swimming pool and very modern stays. Super fancy. I don't even want to know the price, but you can see there. I see some cars from other states. I'm not going to show you the car plate because I'm not sure if that's allowed. But I see car from Rajasthan and Maharashtra. So yeah, tourism is kind of open here. But I guess, I think you need a COVID, a PCR negative. 
All right, so right here on this abandoned bus, that's where I stop my episode here. If you liked it, click the thumbs up. And if you loved it, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next episode. I think I'm going to show you Saligao. That's a nice area. So thank you so much for watching and see you on the next one.